Welcome back to Viva Tech News. It's now 10.30 a.m. in Paris. I'm Upton Saidi and I'll be hosting today's morning show, Early Tech Early Birds. Thousands of people have already began ascending onto Port de Versailles here in Paris, where it's a very exciting lineup. So yesterday we had French President Emmanuel Macron. Today we have LVMH CEO and Chairman Bernard Arnault joining us, uh, hosting the LVMH Innovation Awards just behind me. Very exciting time. And then tomorrow, Elon Musk will be joining the man behind SpaceX, Twitter, now Twitter, and of course Tesla. So this is all the live action is happening here at Viva Tech. I'm excited now to be joined by a few guests. So Ascendia plays a key role in bridging the gap between different markets and also facilitating international trade. ESW is a leading global direct-to-consumer e-commerce company, an expert in e-commerce technology. Now recently, Ascendia and ESW joined forces to become key players in the e-shop world. I'm now excited to be joined by Mark Ponet, CEO at Ascendia, a world leader in international commerce, as well as by Alan Clark, Chief Commercial Officer at ESW. Gentlemen, welcome to Viva Tech News. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Good morning. So, Mark, can you tell us about the collaboration between Ascendia and ESW? How did the partnership come about and what are its key objectives? Well, Ascendia is a joint venture between La Poste Group and Swiss Post. We are specialized in solution for cross-border parcels, small packets, and mail. And the story began 10 years ago. In the US, we had an RFP from our largest customer, Victoria's Secret, not only for their solution for cross-border parcels, but they needed to improve uh, the, the customer journey from the checkout to the distribution. We didn't have these skills, and we were looking for a partner so ESW was a startup at this time. We decided to onboard them and reply to the RFP. We won, and thanks to this win, we decided to become shareholder, minority, then majority, and now we own 100% the company. This is how it began. Incredible. Alan, how does ESW serve benefit, uh, how does ESW service benefit retailers? And I want to know what specific value added services or solutions you provide to support retailers. Yeah, like when I speak to retailers and brands, almost all of them want to like grow their business. They want to um, grow their sales and grow their customer base. And for many of them, the, the, the best way to do that is to expand into international markets and new territories. However, that, 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 um, there's a lot of considerations when going, you know, taking a brand or taking a retail service into a new market. Uh, there's all kinds of considerations for the brands in, t in terms of localizing their services, local language, local payment methods, uh, local com compliance and regulations that they've got to adhere to. Not to mention that the global kind of uh, service network that they need to put behind that. And this is where Ascendia and ESW comes in. We provide a full end-to-end -end service that takes care of every step of the consumer journey. And that means that we, we kind of design, build, and run websites. We provide fully localized checkouts with the local payment methods that customers would expect, uh, local delivery options that customers would expect. And we also take care of like all of the trade, compliance, duties, taxes. And this is where like, we have the benefit of the Ascendia relationship when it comes to our global fulfillment network. So we service over 200 countries from first mile to last mile. Uh, so we provide a very tailored, very bespoke fulfillment um, services for all of our partners and brands. Mark, when you think about sustainability, it's a growing concern for many businesses and consumers alike. What are Ascendia's and ESW's sustainability commitments and how do you integrate these practices into your regular operations? Well, we already do a lot. We are a front runner because we have a program and we fully compensate our emissions. And we are not so many to do that. And it's not greenwashing because, you know, it helps funding initiatives that are very important for a tran climate transition. So we already do a lot, but we want to do more. So what does it mean doing more? It means creating a path to reduce or carbon emission. It's not only compensation, it's reduction. And here, the best way is to do something that will be binding. It has to be a commitment, and our intention is to commit vis-a-vis -vis the SBTI to prepare this trajectory and to, and to set science-based targets. 
And the scope will be broad because it will include all the emissions, including those of our transport partners. Alan, the e-commerce landscape constantly evolving. How does Ascendia and ESW stay ahead of the industry trends? Any examples? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, there's two main factors for us when we think about how do we stay ahead of trends. Um, so the first one is that we've got a, you know, a track record of constant investment in technology and innovation always looking for how can we improve our solutions, how can we improve our offering for the benefit of our customers and our retail partners. The second thing we take into consideration is feedback and insights from our actual customers, from our retail partners. Like just understanding what their pain points are, uh, what, their, you know, what their challenges are, and what the opportunities they're pursuing are. So a great recent example of how uh, we worked with Ascendia and ESW is on our uh, relaunched uh, global returns platform. So this is a full end-to-end -end returns port, uh, portal and really it's addressing the problem space for retailers and customers alike all around the, the returns experience. Because uh, you know, a, a bad return experience can lead to uh, loss of sales for retailers. It can also lead to issues with like customer retention, for example. So with this uh, portal, uh, we, we, you know, we enable our customers the, uh, to uh, have multiple drop-off points for the items that they want to return. They can track them live on the portal, so they can track progress. The benefit of that for retailers is it very much reduces the customer service contacts and drives cost efficiencies for them. Uh, whilst you know, customers understand exactly where their return is, when they're going to get refunded their money as well, which is a really important factor. So the benefit is that you know, by addressing and improving our re uh, returns uh, portal, we've solved a lot of problems for the retailers and the end customer as well. Absolutely fascinating. Alan, Mark, thank you so much for joining. We'll see you out in the uh, main floor. Thank you. Thank you.